looking for lymphatic vessels right because why look at something if you if you don't if you know they don't exist there but we've been showing um, that meningeal immunity plays a very important role in brain function and along the sinuses there were two lymphatic two vessels which were stuffed with immune cells and we said well if we're perfusing it right then the cells should not be in the vessels why are they in the vessels here so what are these vessels maybe they're not blood vessels but what would it be if it's not a blood vessel so we she went to a colleague of mine and we asked for an antibody to label lymphatic vessels. And he told me, are you crazy? And why would be you looking at lymphatic vessels in the brain? We said, you know, we think we see something just to make sure it's not that, you know, because it's, I mean, if you label and it's not lymphatic vessel, then you move on. But we labeled and it was lymphatic vessel, so. And so I knew I wanted to be a doctor but not to treat the people. <laughs> so I wanted to be a doctor who does research. And when I grew up, I realized that I don't have to be a doctor. I can just be you know, uh, the other doctor, PhD. So I always, I always was excited about science um, as a kid. I also remember that I was really worried that if I, when I grow up, all the diseases will be cured. And then, you know, I will have nothing to, to work on. And so, of course, my uh, aspiration was to cure cancer. Um, and so when I went to graduate school, which was Weizmann Institute, um, in Israel, I actually went to a cancer tumor lab to study uh, tumors. Um, but then I went to this, uh, we had the open day, and so this one um, lady, Professor Michal Schwartz from Neurobiology, was giving her presentation on about how immune cells um, interact with the injured brain. And I said, that's very exciting. And so I talked to, I went to talk to her about rotation, and I never left. Uh, the lab or never left the field. So that's how I became a neuroimmunologist. So my dream right now, it would be very, very, of course, uh, would, would have been very, very nice and if our discoveries could really lead to something in clinic. If, if you could take the lymphatic vessels, for example, you know, enhance their function and show benefit in uh, Alzheimer's or maybe in brain tumors, it would be super amazing. Uh, is it a dream? Yes, it's a dream. But if not, will it stop us from doing the next thing? No, right? Because science is very interesting. Just doing science for the sake of science and not necessarily so we all want our findings to cure patients there is no question about it but curing patient is the last piece into the puzzle it cannot appear out of nowhere you need to put all the other puzzles together right and so the very very basics of very very basic science when you may not be able to get to patients right but but this will be the foundation for future building is also super important. So I think just doing science for the fun of science is absolutely fine.